YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It's your boy Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. If you're watching this video, you are probably like me in that you are going for camos in Modern Warfare 2. There are 51 weapons currently in Modern Warfare 2, all with sets of base challenges for camos and a lot of camos that you can unlock all the way up to the Mastery Camo Orion. Some of these camo challenges include mounted kills, hip fire kills headshots and things like that however for some guns like the cast off 74u that you're currently watching me use in this video some of the camo challenges include point blank kills now before i get into explaining how to get point blank kills let me give you a quick explanation of what point blank kills are a point blank kill is exactly what it sounds like you have to get a kill at point blank range for a point blank kill to count you have to get up close and personal with your enemies and get a kill while you're at that range the thing that that's good about point blank kills and this camo challenge in particular is that you will actually get a visual cue when you get a point blank kill as when you get a point blank kill along with the XP that pops up on your screen you will see the words point blank now though let's talk about the best ways to get these point blank kills first and foremost you may need to change up your play style a little bit because you're going to want to use a play style that's going to allow you to get up close and personal with your enemies more often than not what I would suggest is play and incredibly fast play incredibly aggressive so that you can quickly close the gap between you and your enemies so that you can turn those medium to long range kills into point blank kills also and i hate to say this but if you need to change up your play style a little bit and sit in a corner i would say sit in a corner next to either a door or some sort of entryway into a room because your enemies are going to be pushing through that door and they're going to be unsuspecting they may not suspect you'd be sitting in that corner and you're going to get an easy point blank kill when they pass through another thing i would suggest is play the map smart and by this i mean be smart and be tactical on where you exactly play and operate on the maps what i would say is best is play the areas of the map that favor close quarters combat be that hallways corners small rooms or whatever the case may be that would certainly be best it's going to be near impossible to get a point blank kill in a large and open field so i would highly suggest just staying away from those areas at all costs and playing those close quarters combat areas on the map i guess they were right about keeping your friends close and your enemies closer another tip is to look at the attachments you run on your weapons and tweak them if need be because you're going to be running around the map and playing super fast and hitting a lot of corners fast jumping through windows i would suggest making a weapon build that maximizes your ability to hit hip fire kills more often than not your point blank kills are going to be hip fire so i would definitely suggest making a weapon build that's going to make sure that you can hit those hip fire kills with maximum accuracy because let's be real you're probably not going to have the chance if the enemy is facing you to pull up your gun in ads so getting a gun with good hip fire accuracy is going to be imperative. Whether that's running a laser, a different stock, taking off your optic or different attachments like that make sure to look at the attachments and exactly what they do to the weapon so that you can ensure that your weapon has maximum hip fire accuracy also look at your attachments that change your sprint to fire speed you're gonna want a weapon that has incredibly fast sprint to fire speed so that when you sprint around a corner you can get your weapon out of that sprint and out of that tactical sprint and right into a position to shoot bullets also if you're behind an enemy and have the chance to run up behind them and press the barrel of your gun into their back before taking those final shots so that you can ensure that you're getting an easy point blank kill it would also be smart to run a perk such as ghost now that is going to be a final perk that you're going to have to unlock throughout the game but it would be smart to run a perk like that to hide yourself on the mini map from your enemies to give them as little intel as possible when it comes to your position if you implement all of these tips i can guarantee that getting point blank kills is going to be that much easier and you are going to get through those camo challenges that much faster for even more tips and tricks like this be sure to check out my previous videos and my future videos for all of that need to know intel to make your modern warfare 2 experience that much easier and that much more fun but yeah guys that's effectively going to wrap up today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to drop a like and comment on it down below comment down below how many gold weapons you have at this time and be sure to subscribe to the channel hit that bell to turn on those notifications so you never miss any of my daily uploads for even more from me be sure to check out the links in the description below to connect with me on all of my social media so you never miss any of my content also for the latest and greatest call of duty news 
intel and so much more be sure to use the links in the description below to connect with ipc on all of our social medias as well as our website but other than that i hope you all have a great rest of your day and that's been it peace